Hi there, this is Tammy Murphy, broker owner of RH2L, bringing the Greater Miami Valley real homes to love. And of course, we are going to talk about a market update for the end of the month of May. So just to give you a heads up, pay attention, see what's going on. So we were doing our market updates in the month of May and giving you some uh, ideas as to how the market was starting to take a shift. And what we have now are our final numbers for the month of May, just to give you an idea that we are seeing some changes in our marketplace. So we had a total in the month of May of 1,476 home and condo sales. Uh, that is up from the prior year, of course, 2020 was the start of all of the COVID. So we expect there to be an increase over last year's numbers. But for us, 1,476 sales took place in the month of May. Now, this is local information. This is what you need to know because local markets are what rule in your neighborhood what is going on. We took in for the month of May, 1,792 listings. So 1,792 and out of that, 1,476 sold. So there's always a little bit of a time delay from when a house comes on the market to when they sale. So it does trend a little bit out. And um, it's just interesting to know that over the year, looking from the beginning of January to right now, We've had 7,426 houses come on the market for sale. And of that, we've sold 6,204. So you can see how we continue to eat away at that inventory. Inventory levels are still low, but they're starting to creep up. So when we look at our current activity and what is currently available, of course, this is just now the first day of July. So we'll be having our June numbers come in. But right now, if I told you how many active listings we have on the market, it's 1,032. Whereas in the weeks past, we've been around 750, it creeped up to 825. And now we've all of a sudden taken a jump. This is typical in the summer for more houses to come on the market and available. Um, but it's still much lower than what we normally carry. So yes, is it still an opportune time for people to sell a house? Absolutely. Is it still a good time for buyers to buy? Well, yes, but you wanna make sure you are buying smart. So we are seeing that the appraisals are starting to come in tight and where some have kind of well, we'll get in on this wave and we'll come in on a high number and we'll get people to bid against it and we'll get an even higher number. Our appraisers are starting to come back with a little pushback. So what does this mean? It means you need to price your home correctly. You don't want to ask too much and then be sitting on the market. And if you ask too little, yes, will you create a little bit of a frenzy? But your buyers need to be smart and they need to know what they're willing to pay. If they're going to give an appraisal guarantee, they don't want to have to come out of pocket even more money than what the bank is going to loan them because it may cause an issue or a burden for them. So these are all things we look at why we want to make sure we are giving you the best advice. And of course, everyone's advice is going to be dependent upon their needs, dependent upon the house, dependent upon the market, and dependent upon what your realtor's negotiation skills and abilities are. To be honest with you, it takes all of that coming together to make the deal still work for you. So let's give you some more information, just kind of insight because we know it's local, but knowing what it's doing nationally is just as important because you can see Dayton is kind of in the Midwest area. We're never as hot or as cold as they are on the coastals by coast on the New York side or on the California side. They have much higher highs and lows than what we have. This year has just been crazy and we're seeing so many different things that it is wise to keep an eye on what's happening everywhere and how is that gonna affect us and what do we need to do to be ready for the next trend in real estate. So they were talking about nationally this last month, in the month of May, 110,000 new listings came on the market. Does that sound like a lot? I mean, we're talking countrywide. That doesn't sound like a lot of houses. 
And so when they say, put that in perspective, 28,000 of those went into contract. That's a quarter of the listings. Um, Dayton is almost a one-to-one -one ratio. When we have a house go on the market, we have a house going under contract. So there is a little bit of disparity there. We definitely have a hot market. Um, and what they're saying is nationally, that leaves about a 21 day market. Uh, so in 21 days, they expect that rotation to come through. And we are seeing that quick here in the Dayton area. So we know that um, our percentages of houses on the market represents basically a half month of supply. If everybody was in position, ready to buy, we wouldn't even have a half month <laughs> ready to go. So it's just one of those crazy things. And knowing what's going on is definitely important and getting an insight so that you don't feel like you're being pressured into something, but you're able to make the best decision for you. That's what our job is, is help you make that best decision you can for what your needs are at that time. And we want to make sure that our buyers are buying smart. We want to make sure that our sellers are selling smart. And yes, sometimes that means you got to have a meeting of the minds, come into a middle agreement, but still get the deal done and everybody walk away happy. That's a win. Um, and who's our biggest buying pool at this point? This was just staggering information that came in. Of course, we know the millennials are out. They've got money. They've got time. They've got energy. And they are claiming this market. In, in fact, they are saying that of the veteran loans given out, the Veterans VA Department has accounted for 50% of their loans have been claimed by these millennials. So our military members are going out there. They're getting into the military. They're ready to be approved for a home loan. And they are buying. And they are making use of that VA loan that they have as one of their rights. Um, and well, if you've seen anything in our market, some of our veterans are getting left out. The sellers are maybe deciding they don't want to deal with a VA or an FHA loan. And that's cutting these people out of the potential of buying a home. Well, that's not necessarily the best thing to do for you as a seller. These are qualified buyers with a right to a type of loan that gets them into a home with little to no money. Um, personally, you know, I'm, I'm always going to support our military and be there to say it's one of their rights. Let's give it to them. Um, but we also want to make sure it's the right home for the right person and the right loan is for that right buyer and the seller is getting what they need and want out of the deal. So if you have questions, want to get some information, have some more insight, have a personal conversation for you and your specifics. We're always available, happy to help. And uh, we're gonna get these market updates to you and see if there's anything else that we can provide that will be of assistance to you in this crazy, chaotic, somewhat hot summer season <laughs> in the Dayton, Ohio area. We hope you enjoy and we look forward to seeing you around and helping you make your next move. Thanks so much, bye-bye.